A site assessment drawing often starts by drawing the footprint of the building on the site. Most buildings have right angles with the occasional 45 degrees, so it's relatively easy after you run around with your tape to put the footprint down in your CAD drawing. So let's do that. We'll pick draw line and with our dimensions we just start head off in the direction that we that we want make sure that tracking is on and just type our number so you know how to do that and just work your way around the building the next thing to do is to take some triangles triangulate we want now to locate the boundaries now this side is different it's a polygon a, an unequal polygon uh, an awkward looking site one that's a little trickier to draw than the ones we've dealt with in the past so what we do now is take some triangles so you site from the corner of your house out to one corner of the property and measure that distance it's 8.2 meters in this case then you site from the same corner down to another corner of the site that's visible in this case it's what 20 it's uh, 25 8 four seven so you need a pretty long tape to do this sort of thing so then you move around the site triangulating and take more triangles than you think you're ever going to need and just jot them down in your workbook or your field notebook that's the next step take the triangle set the triangles up you can measure along the the uh, the boundaries of the site if that's practicable uh, and if you can that provides a really useful check of what we're about to do next the next step in Garden CAD is to use the triangle information that you've jotted down in your workbook and refer to it and put some circles or you could use arcs in centered at the point that you've measured from. So we would start a circle centered on that corner of the house, 8.2 meters, and then another circle determined by the length of the other triangle that we jotted down, which gives us this second circle. So the point at which those two circles um, intersect of course is one corner of the site and we can do that for the whole site just working our way around so that'll give us the four corners of the polygon well once you've used the information in your field book for the distances of those triangles and then set your circles in place it becomes a simple matter to draw the boundaries of the site in so we can draw from one intersection to another to put that particular boundary line in so I have a a lot of circles here and it tends to get a little overwhelming and that's why it sometimes plays to use the sometimes pays to use the arc option so it would be draw arc you'd want an arc nominating the the, the center point and then the radius and then two ends so that might help do it but after all those circles once we're once they're in position we can eliminate them so let's turn off some layers now and see we can turn off our circles layer I put those on a separate layer and we can turn off our triangulation layer and there we are we now have a garden cad drawing with the footprint of the house in it and uh, an irregular shaped polygon which determines the boundaries of the site and all done very accurately and relatively easy to do if you get organized in your field book and you take the right measurements when you're out on site if you've managed to measure along the length of that line you can of course simply select a line and go to properties and one in we we have the length here 3757 so you could check that against a measurement the take-home lesson here is that the more measurements you take while they're out on site the easier it is to construct the CAD drawing that describes it. So this drawing now is ready for you to work your magic on.